So, in this video, we're going to work on the Corolla. As you may or may not have seen from the previous video, uh, cylinder number three is acting like it's warped. Could be something in the head, could be something in the piston, could be a push rod, could be a number of things. I'm going to mostly treat it like it's dead. I'm going to start dismantling it now, just showing you some of the goodies that the car did have. But while I'm dismantling, if I find anything early that is a simple fix, like a bent push rod or something, then I'm going to fix that and then just get the car back to running. But if I keep dismantling and see nothing special, then it's just going to keep getting dismantled because I want to find out what the actual problem was if I can. I mean, if it's anything visible. But if not, well, the whole motor's going to come out anyway. So we're just going to go down that path and see where it takes us. So let's get going. So, here's my hope that maybe one of the push rods are fuckered. I am not sure. I'm guessing probably not. So, here's cylinder three. Here's the one with the biggest grief. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything there. And then... Really? Yeah, nothing special. So it'll probably be continued dismantle at this point. Cause yeah, they're fine. So they were not the problem. I could have hoped, but alas, it was not meant to be. So I guess at this point, We'll just continue to dismantle. Hooray! See how this turns out. See a fair amount of moisture in there. Others are dry. 
and the coolant they came out smelled like complete and utter ass. I also see moisture there. Let's see if it'll focus. Or is that dry? That's dry. That's dry. So, I'm guessing either a head gasket bit it somewhere around that cylinder or the head cracked. Something like that. Thing is, its temperature never got hot. Um, if I recall correctly, Well, it's empty now because it's been sin for a while, but when the issues happened, never really saw smoke, no white shit, temperatures never climbed, never heard any boiling. So, <laughs> yeah, not completely sure what happened, but I'm pretty sure the head gasket or the head itself is gone because, yeah. I pulled that exhaust manifold off and just whoo, just flushed out. So, hooray for coolant. Oh. Well, at least the wide band was attached to the header. And the wide band sensor was fine. So, yeah, let's continue on. thought maybe head or head gasket I might have been wrong I don't know saw a lot of fluid in cylinder 3 while removing the exhaust manifold but the head was already loose so there is a possibility that fluid could have made it in there at that point seems unlikely and at this point any fluid in here it's kind of a crapshoot that cylinder down there it looks dirty for an old car, but what do you expect? As does that. Although, to be fair, this... Okay, I'm kind of surprised this engine was running. That looks like a chunk to... Oh, never mind. That was build up in there. You can see on that piston there, it's got the same notch. This thing looks just corroded, but... Or gunked up. Actually, it looks like chunks made it in there. 
See how smooth that is? It's almost like something made it into that cylinder because it's like something bounced around. So yeah, something definitely happened in there. That's why I lost compression there. Like you look at the design of, or how that top is on the piston. This one looks like it's missing pieces. It is not normal. Let's go see what the head looks like. So even though I took the head off, I, I struggle to accept that coolant should be coming out of the intake. Unless something went loose here. I mean, wow. Let's see if we can dig into this. Is that like you on that one? Oops. That one's a little dirty. So is this one. So is this one. But this one, I mean, I know I ran it a bit. But it really does look like something was bouncing around in there. So let's go get a rag and take a look. So... As you can see, something definitely bounced around in here. You see a chunk missing there. So that's probably why it couldn't build a lot of pressure. But apparently, it didn't fully open it up. It still built some. But if you notice, something was bouncing around in here, it seems. So, this motor's toast. I mean, I already kind of knew that, but... And if you look at the rest, they're not great, but definitely not on the same level. Like, they would have still been usable. I would have been able to throw a turbo on this thing and just screw it all up. But, alas, it was not meant to be. So, at some point here, I'll be selling that. Uh, and selling that intake. It worked well. Uh, one thing I learned from this equation, if I can hold the camera steady, this is a Mustang throttle body. I believe it's a 70 millimeter BBK or something like that. And that made it a huge pain in the ass to tune because you go like quarter throttle and pretty much the uh, mass airflow sensor detected just full throttle because it allowed so much air in that I really had a 25 maybe 35 throttle tune range so that was great but oh well time to work on the next motor here's some other little things harbor or autos whichever place uh, Lowe's Home Depot used those JB welded cleaned it out like cleaned out in there, put JB Weld, threaded it in there. And they obviously held pretty well. I mean, you see a lot of problems with a lot of thing, the things I did. But yeah, let's get into that. So, you're probably looking at the quality of my work and wondering what the fuck was I doing and how the hell the car was running. You know, things like that. Um, this was my first big project car. I did Mega Squirt, soldered it myself, even with my little shaking hand thing. Uh, learned all about it. Wish these bugs would go away. Learned about the Mega Squirt, learned about fuel injection a little bit. And then I hit the point of, I just wanted to get it done. So while I made sure all the work I did would work, like I made sure I have the, you know, the quality in regards to function, but form, appearance, things like that, I didn't care about. So I just slapped it all together, made it work, and it worked. This car dro drove with me learning how to tune on it for I think three years. You know, so got it running and just kind of wung it. You know, 
I was able to drive it to work sometimes, took it to car meets. I didn't necessarily get the best performance out of a fuel-injected 3T engine, but I was happy with it. It worked. Uh, the goal now is to go 1UZ with a Nissan 350Z transmission. I forget the transmission code, but that that's the one I'm probably going to use because those are more readily available than... Uh, what is it, a R154 or a W58? So, going to go that path. And it will still be Mega Squirt. Just might go to the next stage of Mega Squirt where I have more uh, ins and outs. But we'll figure that out. But, as you can tell, motor's toast. So, in the next video for this car, probably just more dismantling. See some of my other questionable work. Try not to laugh too much. But anyway, if you found it entertaining or humorous or something, give it a thumbs up. Have fun. Bye-bye.